Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here, and today I've got another light-hearted list for you guys as I'll be doing part 9 of the Dumb Social Media series. I haven't done one in about 2 or 3 months, so this is well overdue. So without further ado, let's get cracking. There's a warrant for my homie right now, pigs better not come round here. <laughs> Alright, so if there's a warrant for one of your friend's arrests, and you write that on Facebook saying the police shouldn't come round here, you pretty much just given away the exact location of your homie, so... <laughs> well done there, well done. So we got an Instagram one here, hashtag pics from last night Drake. <laughs> Let me just zoom in. That's like the most budget Drake I've ever seen. <laughs> he doesn't even look remotely like the guy. Jesus Christ, come on, he's fooled six girls there. <laughs> look how proud he is of himself. <laughs> <laughs> you ever met some boy of Twitter, then ya meet up and they got the same outfit they had on on the profile pic, lol. <laughs> I mean literally, where do I start? I can just about understand what this person's trying to say. They're trying to say, have you ever met somebody from Twitter and they're wearing the same outfit, not outfit, <laughs> that's not even a word. <laughs> that they had on in their profile picture on Twitter. About one hour ago via Twitter for iPhone. iPhone has autocorrect. I don't understand how you can make so many mistakes when your telephone itself has frickin' autocorrect. You must have gone out of your way purposely to spell that badly. And if you switched autocorrect off, I'm sorry, that, that was designed for people like you. So switch it back on and do the world a favor, man. Rest in peace, in peace, Nelson Mandarin. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace, in peace, Nelson Mandarin. First black prime minister of the USA. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. How... How much... <laughs> Alright, let's break this down. There are literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 words in that sentence. And he made 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven mistakes. Seven mistakes I can I can just straight away point out there. Seven mistakes in twelve words. That has to be a fucking record. I mean, <laughs> let's go through the mistakes actually. Let's make it quite quite interesting. So RIP obviously stands for rest in peace, hence why you don't need in peace at the end. Mistake number one. Nelson Mandarin, there's two mistakes in that. His name isn't in capitals and his name isn't Mandarin, it's Mandela. So there's three mistakes there. First black prime minister, he was the president of South Africa, not the USA. That's five mistakes. Prime minister, if you, has to be in capitals, there's six mistakes and there's no full stop or period at the end of the sentence. There's seven mistakes that I can point out in 12 freaking words. Yeah, I think that is the dumbest post I've probably ever seen. Let that had been me if would if been World War II. You know what, scrap that. This is the dumbest post I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, I can't even comprehend what he's trying to say. Let that had been me if would if been World War II. What? Can someone... I Okay, look, on most of these posts, I can, you know, we can all figure out what the person's actually trying to say. There might just be something stupid in there, there might be a terrible spelling mistake or whatever, but you can figure out what their point is and what they're actually trying to say. Here, I literally cannot decipher what this person's trying to say. I mean, I think we should have a little, uh, uh, little, little game here. If you can figure out what that person's trying to say, or you have any idea of what he is trying to say, please leave a comment below. And I think that will actually be quite interesting to see what you guys come up with, because I, I personally have no freaking clue what he's trying to say. Justin Bieber is now going by Bizzle, in case you needed another reason to think white people are terrible. And if someone replies, he's Canadian, not white. He's white complected, but isn't white as in the race. <laughs> really now? <laughs> Justin Bieber's not white, apparently. He's Canadian, but he's not white. I mean, any other race out there wants to claim Justin Bieber, because personally, I don't think white people even want Justin Bieber. <laughs> you know, so yeah, you can have him, you know, all the black people out there, Asians, Hispanics, whatever, go on, have Justin Bieber, you know, you can, you can have him. We don't want him. <laughs> Fuck me, I mean, we don't want this person as well, Alyssa. You can have her as well. <laughs> the devil has five letters. So does weed. Okay. <laughs> if you don't think weed is the devil, you need Jesus. 
I mean, from that logic, Jesus has five letters, so does the devil. According to her le logic there, that's, uh, that's some scary shit. <laughs> what the fuck is she talking about? Weed? What? Ah, you know what? I've, I've got it. I figured it out. It's a misunderstanding. Look, weed is spelt W-E-E-D. Double U. Double U. Two U's. Makes sense. So basically, weed in her mind is double U, two letters, so two U's, E-E-D, five letters. So, you know what? My bad, my bad. You're actually very smart. Well done for pointing that out. Well done for figuring that out, concerned mum 420. I so embraced me and Bay was fucking... Please don't use Bay. Please, can I just ask anyone out there, if you use Bay, just please don't use it. It's... Oh, I don't know, it just makes me... Blah, that word. Anyways, carry on. Me and Bay was fucking and I felt the runs coming and it and it came out so fazzard I shit on his dick, he mad at me now. What? 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 I'm gonna excuse all the spelling mistakes, I'm gonna excuse Bay. I'm gonna excuse everything else, but what the fuck did you just write on Twitter? Why did you tweet that? Why are you letting the world know that essentially you and your boyfriend were having sex and you shat on his dick? Not just shat on his dick, you had diarrhea shit all over his dick. Why would you tell the world that? You was born in 1986, I was born in 1990, I'm 24, you can't be 28, but I... Alright, just someone who clearly doesn't understand math. Fair enough, whatever. I mean, it's, it's a fail, but it's not that bad. Who cares? Let's move on. Menstruation is called period because back in the day when women's bodies weren't as polluted, all it was was a tiny dot. Well, there you go, females. There you go to all the women watching. Learn something new about your own body there. Apparently, the reason your period is not just a tiny dot anymore is because your body is polluted. Did you know that? Thanks to Akin Olokun, he's, uh, he's uh, given us, he's bestowed us with some amazing knowledge here. What is he talking about? The fact that it's called period. I mean, I don't know why it's called a period. I don't know, but I'm going to take an educated guess. I'm going to assume it's called period maybe because it's that period of time of the month. Maybe because of that. It's a time period, you know, it's that period of the month. I'm just going to assume that's probably the reason it's called period. Don't, don't, you know, don't quote me on that. But I highly doubt it was because it was a tiny dot. <laughs> And because, you know, women's bodies are now so polluted. But anyway, that's all of them. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, I haven't done one in quite a while, but I will be doing more of these. Um, I don't know what happened. I just kind of forgot about it, if I'm honest. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, feed your mind.